Hey guys, for sake of reality here, so you want to implement rolling component into advanced locomotion v4 but don't know how? Well that sucks because I don't either. <laughs> but we're going to do that right now and figure it out. So without further ado, we will get into that. So the first thing we're going to do, like usual, is migrate the content over to your project. And I'm going to get out of the blank integration, and I made an ALS v4 in version 4.26. And I will select folder and put it in the content folder. Send that on over. Okay, so first step is retarget the enemy, or actually we'll do the input. Go to our project settings, input, action mapping, jump action. Turn on the space bar for that. and for the ships for the jump oh, sorry and we'll come down here dodge space bar w s forward backwards left is a and then right is d then we have our inputs all set up. Should be good to go. Can't jump. Can't jump when we're holding shift. Okay, so that's all good. And like I said, I will, or I didn't say it in this video, but I will be going over other methods of setting up the the uh, jumping and dodging. So, for example, if we're in combat, will be the only time you want to dodge. I'll go over that. Or if you're aiming, is the only time you want to dodge. Otherwise, you want to normally jump. I'll go over that as well. So you won't need to hold this, do this shift action, it's just by default. Okay, so now we want to go to our meshes, skeletal character, meshes. This is in our rolling component. And we can set it to humanoid. Go to advanced locomotion, character assets, ALS skeleton, and it's already set to humanoid. Perfect. So we want to go back to our meshes in here. Retarget our skeleton to the ALS skeleton. And we'll hit retarget. And that should properly give us all our animations. But we're going to need some curves. And an easy way to do that is there's already a roll in ALS v4. So we can just come up here, window, animation data modifiers, copy curves. Search for the roll. And ALS neutral land forward. Copy all curves. And come up here. Apply modifier. That will give us this base pose. And we will want to do this with all of our animations. So I'm just going to copy this animation here. Yep. Dive roll forward at copy curves. Paste that ALS front land forward. Tick on copy all results. Right click. Apply modifiers. Save. You can also get your animations right here too. Just don't like to use that too much. So I'm usually working with big messes of animations. Yeah, let's land forward, apply modifier, same as every other one. And this one, same thing, copy curves. Paste. Right click, apply modifier, save. So save all in case I didn't. And now we want to go into our blueprints, character logic. And our I'm just gonna go into the base character. So I believe that's where our input graph is. Yep. And we're gonna look for our rolling component and just add that on there. Input graph. Get our dodging component. Dodge input. I'll have to name that input dodge so it's a little bit different from the actual event being called or the function. 
Yeah, vent, dodge. I'm gonna drag out of here and search for dodge. Get the dodge function. Press. Bring that down here. Key pressed. And there we have our dodge input to all set up in here. And next thing is our animation blueprint. So character assets, manic skeleton, ALS animation blueprint, update graph, notify graph. There's no notify graph. Okay, so um, and now that we're in our animation blueprint, we we'll want to go open up our rolling component animation blueprint. It's actually been done a little faster than I thought. I think there's already a default pose. I don't think we're going to need to add that into ALS. But we're going to need to get this animation notify. Just going to paste that in here. Right click, get character. I believe that should work fine. Just gonna find references and see where this is set. Yeah, we're all good. Update graph, anim graph, let's see. Just gonna test this out now. Got a feeling. Um, motion for montages only. So look at where this Yeah, I had a feeling. We'll plug this default slot in here. And I believe we actually might need to do something a little different than that. Yeah, so I was thinking, okay, so go to our third person Adam blueprint, get our layer blend for bone here because it has a few things set up in here that I don't want to reset up for the clavicle. Before I do that, I'm actually going to try something else. Dive roll. Go to our rolling component animations, rolling montages. Test this out quickly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what we need to do. So instead of putting this default slot in, we'll use the ALS's curve system. And blending system and you'll want to set it to base pose base layer that's why we don't need to add the default sliding because the base layer is already set up in there we're setting them up similar to the roll animation that's in ALS before Still a little more idle there. It's still taking on some of the upper body rotation. Seems to follow things properly with these. Obviously, it's going to be a little clunky when you're going flip with a barrel and things like that. But for the most part, things stay good. 
Gonna try another something else here. I'll use the forward one for testing these. We don't need that. Didn't do anything like I thought it was. I'm just going to pause and do a little bit of testing. Okay, so I just figured out what we're going to do. First thing we want to do is go back into our montages and quickly just set these back to default. And we're going to keep this curve in, curve in here for all those. Come into our animation blueprint. And in a random graph, we're going to break this. Drag out of here. Create a saved cache pose. Call that local motion cache. Get our local motion cache. Get our default slot. We just set our animations back to. Go to our third person animation blueprint from our rolling component. And in our atom graph over here. We can just copy both of this. Control C. Take that slot if you need to. Control C this, Control V it. So it's like that. And there we have it. Now if we play this, playing whatever our current upper body animation would be, so plays a little better with our rifles and stuff like that as well. And our pistols. So there we go. A little faster than I thought it was going to be, but that's it. Uh, that's going to be everything for this one. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to come to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions, leave those in the comment section below or join my community discord using the link in the description. Thanks and I'll see you all in the next one.